So if you've been working in the round for a while, you might be wondering what exactly the back seam of your hat or any project worked in the round is supposed to look like. And I just wanted to take a minute to show you that because it's not something you always see in the pages of a magazine. So here's a hat that I worked in the round um, and I started, I picked it up about here because I actually had created a band of motifs first. But I started with a chain three, so you can see here there's one, two, three chains, and then I double crocheted all the way around the hat, coming back and doing a join with a slip stitch at the end of the round. And so I did that each round. You can see these are my turning chains, or my beginning chains since I'm working in the round. And they, they travel all the way up to the top of the hat. So it does lean a little bit, and yours might lean a different way based on if you, whether you started at the top or the bottom of the hat, and also if you're right or left-handed. So don't feel like you're doing anything wrong there because of that, um, that slight curve around. I think it's just the nature of working in the round in crochet. Now if you're looking at this seam and thinking that it lays a lot flatter than the one you have, um, one of the things that uh, might be the difference is that I've blocked this hat. So pretty much when I finish any crochet project, I either soak it or spray it down with water and I pin it into place or just let it rest. And um, the soaking actually just relaxes the fibers in the yarn and it's just going to help them lay down there. So I would, you know, go and finger press that seam and that's going to help it really blend in. So it's really not even noticeable, especially to someone who doesn't crochet. Um, if you find that you have a gap between the, the beginning chain and the second stitch of the round, like this, it's not that noticeable here, but sometimes it can be a lot bigger um, depending what yarn you're using. Um, another way that you can kind of lessen the effect of that gap is just to take the end that you're going to weave in anyway and just weave it back and forth in a zigzag on the inside of the hat, just connecting, basically just take your yarn and connect the middle chain to the middle of the first stitch and then do that again on the next stitch up and weave it back in. The yarn will visually fill that space and really make it look a lot more polished even after you've already finished your project. For more great ideas from Craftsy.com, click the link.